So every day we're asked about paint warranties. Um, how long are these paint warranties? But really that's the wrong question to ask. It's not the length of the warranty, it's the other things that are contained within the warranty. And, and quite frankly, I think paint warranties are very confusing. So today we have with us Jeff with Continental Coatings and he's gonna break it all down for you. So my name's Paul Rubio, Vice President of Western States Metal Roofing and welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. You can view all the colors that Western States Metal Roofing has to offer by checking out the online color visualizer. This powerful tool will let you see what your home can look like with metal roofing or siding. Try it for free by visiting westernstatesmetalroofing.com or clicking the link above. Okay, today I have with us Jeff from Continental Coatings. Uh, Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Hi, good morning, guys. Uh, so I work with Continental Coatings. We're an industrial coating manufacturer, uh, specialized in coil coatings. We have a plant in Southern California, one in Texas, and uh, we're kind of expanding into the Midwest uh, currently as well. Uh, we're part of an international uh, industrial coating supplier and manufacturer, and uh, I've been in the coil coating business a long time. Jeff, we get a lot of questions from our customers on paint warranties, and quite frankly, they're pretty confusing. Can you elaborate on the three components of a paint warranty? Current, the current warranties typically, as you correctly stated, are typically broken into three different criteria. Uh, not all warranties are, but uh, kind of what we're seeing in the uh, metal building product uh, industry now, you know, there's three conditions. And usually in a warranty, the first item covered is the film integrity or film related adhesion. So that's protection against crack, chip and peel, but basically the paint falling off the metal. And, and that's honestly the part of the warranty that you have to worry about least, right? That, that's pretty that's rare. That number, happens, that's right? the number one concern. Um, and that's typically a lot of times that's the lead number. So if you, hey, it's a lifetime warranty, that might just be. They're just saying for, or hey, this is a 50 year warranty. They might just say, hey, that paint is going to stick on there for 50 years. It might not look the same as when you put it up, but it, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall off. So when you hear the term 40 year SP paint warranty, that's normally what they're talking about is the paint adhesion versus the other two components of the warranty. Is that accurate? Correct. So I'd say, hey, that paint's going to stick on there for 40 years. But as a consumer, that's probably the least thing you should be worried about versus the other two components of a warranty, right? Right. right. And can you explain the other two components of a warranty? So the other two components are uh, chalk. Um, and the chalking is a, uh, a self, it's a really a descriptive term of how the paint uh, weathers. So a lot of paint that you've seen over the years, when it weathers or it's out in the sun a long time, or it's, for example, you know, the, the one thing that most older people especially have experience with is white paint on a picket fence or your wooden garage door where you would paint it. And then, you know, seven years later, you'd brush up against it and get all white and, you know, all that stuff. Right. So that's that chalking phenomenon. And, uh, most people don't know that definition and it just kind of goes along in the warranty and they go, Oh, okay. Chalk resistance. And they have it. That's numerically rated. And, uh, with the chalk, the, uh, the higher the number, the better the performance and the less the chalking. Okay. And the way they determine the chalking is they put a piece of clear tape, saran, uh, cellophane tape on the uh, painted product and they rub it on there really good. And they pull the tape off and then they look up. So, ah, and see, I pulled a bunch of chalk off there, and then they compare that to um, a standard book that has it, uh, it's a rating of one to 10. And uh, so, on your warranty, if it has a chalk rating of four, um, that's not as good as a warranty that has a chalk rating of six or eight. Eight is very minimal chalk. And that's um, kind some of. Might, some might say six, that's kind of. Kind of typically will be. There's two things. Sometimes the number is a little is a little bit higher number, which means a little bit better performance, or it'll have more years. So you might have like a so we have warranties out that are like 
know, 40, 30, 30, or 30, 20, 10, or, you know, so we can vary those numbers and those numbers are, are in years. So 30 years for the crack chip and peel, you know, film integrity, 20 years for the chalk, 10 years for the color. So you, you said that the Kynar is probably that six to eight range on the chalk. What's the range on an S&P chalk warranty? Uh, I would say I, I would say it's the same range, but more more heavily weighted towards six rather than eight. So and then so also it's still pretty good, and typically it's five. It's quite often five years less. So, so okay, so it's five years less typically. So it's probably you know as a rule, uh, ten to fifteen percent less time, and uh, slightly worse. Now, with the quality of both today's Kynar and S and P's, are is chalk really as big of an issue as it used to be, or that's it's an issue, but but not as big of an issue as the fading. I would agree with that. I would agree that's accurate um, because it's the you know, it's the visual aspect of everything. And these chalk ratings are pretty good. So uh, it's not as big an issue. That's The main thing to worry about as a consumer of, of the three components of a paint warranty is truly the fading. That's what really separates the Kynar versus the S&P. And that's the part of the warranty you should look at the most. Is that accurate or not accurate? I think it's the most important part relative to the visual appearance of, a, of the roof, uh, especially or particularly roofing, but, you know, building product in general. Um, so I think that's the most, uh, most important aspect of the warranty that uh, you may, you may want to be concerned with. So kind of warranties are typically how long on a fade. And then, well, let me start with how do you measure the fade? And then the second question would be, what do you typically see for fade on a Kynar versus fade on an S and P? Uh, for starters, this is another confusing thing about the warranties that you'll see. Um, and this is not understood by hardly anybody. So, but typically, um, we will, the paint supplier will quote a color reading, um, and a color reading, uh, change that's acceptable. Okay, so they'll say we'll have a delta E. So the color will have a delta E of less than five for 30 years. So I don't know how many people know what a delta E of five is. <laughs> and how I don't that's quite determined, frankly. right? <laughs> so so they're pretty safe on that. And uh and nobody knows, even if you know what they're talking about, very few people recognize what a delta of five really means. Uh, how dramatic is that? How much color change is that? So, so in in layman's so we take term. what we do is uh, what we do is we have a color computer, and this computer reads reads the color in three areas, and the delta e is the combination is the mathematical combination. Uh, the lightness darkness. Okay, now I understand. Yeah. The red green and yeah. the blue yellow scales. Okay. So this computer reads this tri tri stimulus. It's called a tri stimulus uh, mechanism. So the color computer reads the standard. Okay, here's what my red look color looks like. Put that in the computer. It gives me a L value, an A value, and a B value, and that's a rating for the lightness darkness, how red it is, and uh, how yellow. It is. Then I come back, and that's in the computer as a standard. Then I read what it looks like today. I push a button on the computer, but, and then it'll give me the difference. So the difference in lightness, darkness, the difference in the A, the A scale, which is the red-green scale. Is it still as red? Is it less red? And the difference in the B scale, which is it bluer or is it yellower? Okay. So there's a delta L, a delta A, and a delta B. And those delta, that's, that stands for difference. So the difference in the light and starkness, the difference in the red, the difference in the yellow, yellow, blue. Okay. And uh, the delta E that shows up on your warranty is a combination of those three guys. Mathematical combination boils it down to one number. So a delta L of five units means it's you know five percent darker or five percent lighter. 
And uh, typically that color fade number is quoted in terms that anybody outside of a paint guy has no idea what it really, really means. And so it doesn't tell you much. Um, so it provides criteria for the warranty to be, you know, uh, what the warranty tolerance is, but nobody really understands uh, <laughs> looking at those numbers, you know, what that tolerance means. So, but typically, you know, uh, most warranties are pretty broad um, and that the uh, color is being warrantied that, you know, it's, you know, if it's a red roof, it shouldn't turn brown or blue or green. Um, but if it turns less red, you know, and doesn't look nearly as good, a lot of times it's still within that warranty criteria. Let's talk about the disclaimers in a paint warranty. So you, yeah, there's a bunch of them, right? So Let's talk about the ones that are the, the, that should be called out the most. So number one, I would say, and, and, and a lot of people don't think about this, uh, but one is a disclaimer that says, uh, uh, if multiple metal sources were used on your roof, the claim may be denied. And by that, they mean what happens is, and you see this all over the country, all over the place, all over the world, really, uh, a metal building or metal roof, and it's got like a section of the roof that's a different color than the other section of it. or a stripe down the middle, like where it's a little slightly different green, depending on the angle you're looking at it. You go, what the heck? That, that looks like, heck, did they, did they replace that or what happened? A lot of times, um, a lot of times that's, it didn't look like that when the roof was put up. Okay. When the roof was put up, a hey, everything looked great. Five years later, they weathered differently. So initially they look like the same green, but five years later, 10 years later, they look like a different green. Okay. The warranty guy, the homeowner or the building owner is going to say, Hey, what the heck is going on with this? I got a problem here. Right? So the paint guy will say, uh, yeah, that's, you shouldn't be putting, you shouldn't have panels on your roof that have different paint on. Well, they were the same. Well, no, they weren't the same because they weathered differently. And uh, so if a contractor mixes stuff, materials, or if uh, there's different lots used and different things like that, that can come back to haunt. So warranties, psh, disclaimer. So as an end user, the best thing you, do, you can do to protect yourself is to buy both the panels and flat sheet from the same manufacturer, and then also insist that they make it from the same batch. Is that true? Yeah, I think you know a lot. A lot of that all falls on the contractor, but pay it, pay a lot of attention to not just the, you know the, the, uh, you know maybe try and keep a record of the contractor that installed it. Here's the one that comes to my mind real quick: is proximity to the ocean clauses. What what can you tell me about a proximity to the ocean clause? So most paint warranties, uh, they don't cover corrosion. They cover normal paint weathering. They, co they cover paint, you know, sticking on the metal. They cover, you know, being there. Uh, but corrosion, corrosion is a metal thing. Uh, you know, we always say in the paint business, well, you know, paint doesn't rust. It's that metal under that paint, right? So, um, Corrosion problems and issues related to corrosion happen um, in coastal environments, you know, hundred times more frequently, if not a thousand times more frequently than they do in the desert. But uh, but typically, um, uh, there are location, building location, and building environment uh, disclaimers. In your is there is so if, you're going, if you're putting it next to a chemical plant, if you're next to a volcano, um, if uh, there's a fertilizer factor, factory next door or different things in the environment. Acid, what about acid rain? I've heard that before. Acid rain, you know, uh, that's not a normal uh, weathering condition, right? So it's that acid rain, you're not covered from acid rain. That's another advantage that, you know, we, we've talked about before. Um, the advantage of Kynar versus a, a polyester or an SMP product. Kynar in the fluorocarbon chemistry does have superior chemical resistance. What about tree sap? Properties. Tree sap is hard to get off. Uh, it sticks. Um, 
you got to be careful when you try and clean it off, what you use it with. Uh, so all that stuff, um, bird droppings, leaves and debris that's been on there too long. Sure. Um, a bigger, you know, a bigger problem, more common problem is uh, shavings or scarf. Oh, or swarf. Swarf, rather. Yeah, swarf too. So that type of thing. Um, fastening problems, you know, where they you know, mix, you know, dissimilar metals being, you know, put together. So we see a lot of application problems. So, so any kind of contractor or installation error or design error that leads to uh, paint failure is subject to be claimed and denied. We hope that you found this video helpful and please support our channel by hitting the like button and subscribing as we release new videos weekly. Thank you very much. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.